Hey, today I'm going to show you how to update maps on a MIB-1 Skoda, MIB-1 High Skoda unit. This is MIB-1 Columbus, I believe. So it has an internal memory for maps and we can go over here to setups, version information, and we can see that these maps are for East and Central Europe and they are up outdated. So we are going to download new maps and um, install them in this unit. So right now, press and hold menu button we want to go into service mode, select software download and version, just to confirm what's your software train version. Take this and let's, uh, uh, let's uh, paste this into the MIP helper. So over here on miphelper.com, I've entered this software train from the unit and when I press go, I will have all kinds of stuff about this unit as well as links to download maps for this unit. You can see that this package is pretty and um, pretty big, so you will need most likely a 64 gigabyte SD card because after unzipping this, it will have more than 32 uh, gigabytes. And over here, of course, I've already downloaded this and over here I have this unzipped on the memory card. So it's not in some kind of folder. You have three things directly on the SD card, the Meta Info 2 and MIP1 and MIP2 folders. Don't remove anything all three things are required. And right now, let's take this SD card and let's go back to the main unit. Let's exit the service menu. Let's take the SD card and let's place it in SD1 port. Of course, you can do this in vehicle. It detects that there's a software download on the card and right now let's trigger the update. So let's maybe try like this version information update. Okay, we can see that there's available data 22 slash 23. So let's press next. And right now, all we have to do is wait. And now we are very close for the update to be done. It took about two hours, give and take, uh, since this uh, setup is on bench and I don't have ignition signal. This device uh, was powering down automatically every 30 minutes or so. Um, if that happens to you, either on bench on, or in the vehicle, just press the volume knob to power it on and wait about a minute or minute and a half and the update the and maps update procedure, the maps download from the SD card to the internal storage will resume automatically. So just press it over here, wait about a minute or a minute and a half, and it will, um, it will go back to this software update um, uh, progress bar as here. It looks like it's done. So the system needs to be rebooted automatically. Right now we are just waiting for the reboot. And since we don't have ignition signal, I believe I will need to turn it on. Let's wait a couple of seconds and I believe we shortly should see navigation. Maps are loading. So maybe let's go to setup. Keep in mind that this device is still loading, so it might be a little bit slow. Version information and we have new maps over here. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.